If you use Make, NAN, or Zapier to pull data from an external API, you need to understand the single language every API speaks, JavaScript Object Notation, otherwise known as JSON. JSON is just the standardized text format that APIs use to send and receive data. It's the essential language that makes mapping your data possible. It's structured around key value pairs. The key is the field name, like customer name, and the value is the actual data, like Sarah Connor. This reliable structure is the secret to building API integrations that never fail. Now that you know the building blocks, let's talk about the proper way to translate your JSON data. As an example, let's say you request customer data from a customer API and it returns one object or one record. That one object will be wrapped in curly brackets. It may look like this. Open curly bracket, customer name, colon, Sarah Connor, closing curly bracket. Notice both the key and the value are wrapped in double quotes and are separated by a single colon. Now let's say the API returns a list of customers. Notice we start and end with square brackets and then each object is separated by a single comma. So we have customer name Sarah Connor, customer name John Connor, and then customer name Kyle Reese. Here's the main takeaway. Clean JSON means your automation workflow can find the exact data point it needs every time. If your automation is throwing errors when trying to parse JSON data, make sure you double check for proper punctuation. In the next video, we'll talk about some of the most common JSON modules in make.com.